Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'm gonna reveal the best AI tools for creating YouTube videos. Tools that will transform your YouTube studio into anything you can possibly imagine so you can change your entire setup. Tools that will literally edit your videos for you with the click of a single button, saving you hours and hours of time. Tools that will turn rubbish sounding audio recorded on your phone like this into something that sounds like it's been recorded on a professional microphone. And I'm even going to reveal the best AI script writing tool for YouTube. It's so good, it actually created the script you're listening to right now in less than 60 minutes. Anyway, let's start off with tool number one. So then, if you're using ChatGPT, then stop, because there's a much better free tool, which is Google Gemini. And this is just Google's version of ChatGPT. Now I use Google Gemini for absolutely everything from coming up with video ideas and video titles to writing out the descriptions of my videos as well. And because Google owns both YouTube and Gemini, the responses that it produces are just way better than what ChatGPT can do. In fact, I use Google Gemini to come up with 90% of my video introductions on this channel here. And I've left my Gemini prompt in the description of this video so you can just download it for free, copy the prompt that I've given you into Google Gemini and then just add in your video title and it'll come up with an amazing introduction for your next video so you just never have to worry about coming up with video introductions ever again for YouTube. You're welcome. But what if I told you there was an AI tool that could script out your entire video in less than 60 minutes with incredible precision. Well, there is, and it's called subscriber.ai, and it's what I use to script out this video. Firstly, what it does is it analyzes your whole channel, so your audience demographics, their interests, uh, what they like, what they don't like, absolutely everything, and then it analyzes how you speak and sound in your videos that are already on YouTube. And this way, the script that it generates sounds just like you, and it uses things like the same words and the same terminology, it can reference other videos in your channel, and this just means it doesn't generate some generic chat GPT script that sounds like every other script you know that an AI would produce. Then what Subscriber does is walks you through the whole script writing process. It starts by knowing what your video title, thumbnail and hook are and then the key points that you actually want to cover in the script. Then it asks you to add in some research files for it to analyze. So these can just be other videos on YouTube or blog posts. And the whole point of this is it just gives the AI context around your chosen topic. And then from all of this information, it generates a really unique and amazing script for you in a matter of seconds. And the reason I really like this tool is because you're still adding in your own thoughts and feelings in the script writing process. So there's still some level of human input and your videos still have that human touch. It doesn't just sound like a generic chat GPT script, as I said earlier. But then when you combine that with the speed of AI, you get a really great script that captures your voice and your vibe all in a fraction of the time that it used to take. Now, after the script has been generated, you still will need to make some edits. It's definitely not perfect, but it does about 80% of the work for you, which is a huge time saver. And if you are interested in this software, then use the link in the description to get 10% off. It really has been a huge game changer for me, and it's made my work flow much, much faster. And speaking of game changers, there's another incredible AI tool that's gonna to completely revolutionize how you edit your videos. So it's called Gling, and this is how it works. What you do is you upload your footage to Gling, and then its AI goes through the entire video, finds all the mistakes, all the awkward pauses, all the bad takes, and it just cuts them out for you automatically. Gling then gives you an edited video with a transcript and a timeline, and you can use this to add in or remove parts of your video and really just tinker around with it. And then once you're happy with the edit, you can then export it to your video editing program for any final tweaks. Now, I really can't imagine going back to the old way of editing my videos, which is taking the eraser tool and then cutting up all the little clips manually and then removing the bits I don't like and keeping the bits I do like. And if that's what you're doing right now to edit your videos, then you need to stop and start using Gling because it will save you so much time. Now, whilst Gling takes care of your visuals, what about elevating the audio quality of your videos? Well, that's where this next amazing AI tool comes into play. Now, as you can see, this audio has been recorded on my phone and the iPhone microphone just isn't good enough for YouTube. But if I snap my fingers, we can suddenly change the audio to make it sound like it's been recorded on a professional $1,000 microphone. And the best part is this AI is completely free and you don't have to download anything either. Just go to Adobe Podcast, then go to Enhanced Speech and drag in your audio clip and the AI will just clean up the audio and make it sound great. And remember, when it comes to YouTube videos, 
Great audio quality is so, so important because it makes up 50% of the viewing experience. So the power of this tool just can't be understated. The next tool is called Opus. And over the past couple of years, we've seen the rise of short form content. And this is something that I personally have a lot of experience with. I've received over 100 million views from short form content on my other channel, which has helped me get 1 million subscribers and this lovely gold play button here. So short form content can be really powerful if used correctly. But the main problem is most people just don't have the time to actually make short form content. And this is where tools like Opus Clip become useful because this is what it does. You give Opus a long form video and then it goes through the whole thing and pulls out the best parts. Then it makes each clip into its own short video and adds captions for you automatically. Now this will save you tons and tons of time because you don't need to scrub through hours of footage to find the good bits, nor do you need to spend hours writing out captions. Opus does all of this for you with just a few clicks. Then you can post these videos onto all of your social media platforms to squeeze the most value from all the content you create. And this is one of the ways I'm able to keep repurposing my own content and monetize it in other places like on TikTok and Facebook. For example, on Facebook, Opus Clip has helped me repurpose a lot of my content and generate an extra $20,000 from adverts through just repurposing content that I've already made. So check out Opus if you wanna save time and reach more people with your content and ultimately make more money. But what if you want to make content for people who don't speak your native language? Well, that's where HeyGen comes in, which is tool number six. So right now I'm speaking English. It's the only language I can speak. Pero ahora suena como si hablara español fluidamente a la cámara. Maintenant, je parle français et c'est convaincant, n'est-ce pas? Now, unfortunately, I don't really speak Spanish and I don't really speak French. I wish I did, but that was all AI. The most amazing thing about this AI is it actually changes your mouth to make it look like you're speaking that language too. So it's not just a voiceover, your mouth is actually dubbed as well. And to do this is really simple. Just go to HeyGen, then upload your footage, choose your language, and then it does the rest for you. And my thoughts with this is like, if you wanted to create a second channel in a different language, a bit like Mr. Beast does with a lot of his videos, just to reach a wider audience, then this is the tool that I recommend you use. Now the next tool is called Firecut. And I like to describe this to people as having a little video, video editing assistant right inside your video software, because it does a whole bunch of things. For example, normally when you're editing your videos, you've got to cut out all the repetitions and pauses manually like this. But with Firecut, you just press one button and it does the whole thing for you. There will be tweaking involved, like you do have to make some cuts a bit more refined, but it means a large part of my edit is just done, which saves a whole ton of time. But cutting isn't the only thing it can do. It can also add in things like captions to your videos, which again, just saves loads of time and can help boost retention. And it also does things like add in video chapters. So it works out where the chapters in your videos are, then creates timestamps, which you can copy and paste into your YouTube description. And again, this just saves you time doing it manually. So if you edit videos for your YouTube channel, then definitely try out Firecut. Now this next AI tool is one of the most powerful things that I use. You can use this tool to change your entire studio, or you can use it to add in elements as well that are not really there. Honestly, it's completely up to you. And we do this using Photoshop's generative AI feature. And it's actually really simple. Firstly, you need to film your video. And then once you've done that, drag it into your editing software. Take a screenshot of one frame and then pull that image into Photoshop and then select the area you want to change. For example, let's just say I wanted to add a plant pot here on the desk. I then select that area and then type in plant pot and then Photoshop will generate something for me. You can check out all the different variations and just select something that you like. And then once you have the variation that you like, save the image and bring it back into your editing software. Now put it as a layer on top of your main video file and then your, the final thing to do is just create a layer mask around the plant pot or whatever you added to your file. As you can see, if we now play the clip, it looks like there's a plant pot on the table. I also do this with thumbnails all the time. So this thumbnail here, for example, I wanted to add some wires coming out of my head just to make it look more interesting and more clickable. So I selected my head and typed in, have cables coming out my head. And I kept doing this until I found something that I liked. And then within a couple of minutes, I'd created a thumbnail that would normally have taken me hours and hours to create. So if your thumbnails or studio need a glow up, then definitely try using Photoshop's generative 
to fill feature. It will save you time and it will make your channel just look that next level more professional. And speaking of thumbnails, there's actually a new thumbnail style that's taking over YouTube. So click on this video here to find out what that style is and how you can quickly start implementing it into your videos. I'll see you there.